$281 per month for SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps. Are you getting it? I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now just a few days ago, at the beginning of the month, SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps, increased by 12.5% as a result of the annual cost of living adjustment. An individual can now get up to $281 per month in SNAP benefits and a household of two people can now get up to $516 every single month. Well, I've had a number of you right here in the community reaching out to me down below in the comment section saying, I'm not getting that much. Why? Can you please explain? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about right here in the video as far as why you may not be getting the maximum benefit for SNAP benefits every single month. So let's get into it and discuss all the details. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I am here for you right by your side every single day, watching all this new information, hitting the wire, all the announcements and updates, anything being released, I'm doing all the necessary research and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on right now as things continue to change very rapidly. We're getting all these updates, raises to benefits, all this talk about new bills and packages, proposals and amendments, reform to very important fixed income benefits, and of course, anything in regards to money, checks, raises to benefits, programs, stimulus, anything along these lines. Of course, I'm watching it all very closely, bringing you the updates each and every day right here in these videos to help you out in any way that I possibly can. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And I'll continue to be here for you right by your side every single day. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And as always, I'm sticking to it. All right. Thanks again. Let's get into it and talk about the maximum $281 monthly benefit for an ind individual or $516 every single month for a household of two or even $939 for a household of four people. So a lot of big numbers here. And like I said, the annual cost of living adjustment, again, not to be mistaken with the COLA for Social Security, that's totally different. This is the COLA for SNAP. That goes into effect as of October 1st. So not that long ago, right? Just a few days ago. However, that COLA went into effect. So now the maximum benefit for a household of one person. So if you're an individual and you're the only person in your household, you could get up to $281. Now here's the thing. I've seen a number of comments and people are reaching out to me privately even saying, I'm a household of one person. I'm living on SSI. I get $174 or fill in the blank. I mean, literally the numbers all across the board. I've seen multiple different numbers, uh, 174, 148. I mean, I've seen numbers all over the board here from many of you here in the community and wondering why am I not getting the maximum 281 per month? That's a great question. Now, here's what it comes down to. I wish I had a little bit better of an answer for you, but here's what it comes down to. Basically, your personal situation, and again, everybody's situation is going to be very different. They need to look at your income, your assets, all kinds of different things that pertain to your situation. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's situation is very, very different. Now, here's what it comes down to with SNAP benefits. You can be eligible for SNAP benefits provided your income is 130% or less than the federal poverty line. So as of right now, the federal poverty line is $1,132 per month. That's 100% of the federal poverty line. Now, 130% of that would be, let me roughly do some mental math on this because I did not run the numbers before I started recording this video, um, Three, about $1,500 a month, roughly, give or take a little bit there. That's just me running some real rough numbers on that in my head, like right here as we speak about this. So if your income is about $1,500 or less per month, that's about 130% of the federal poverty line. That's what it comes down to. But they also take into consideration other things when they determine your eligibility for for SNAP benefits, right? They examine your whole situation as far as what you have that could possibly be sold for cash. They also look at other values of different things like your car value, they want to know your living situation. They want to know a lot of different things. Value of potential jewelry and stuff like that. <laughs> yes, they take into consideration all of this stuff. So again, that's why I said a minute ago, I wish I had a better answer for you, but realistically, it's very unique based on everybody's situation. And realistically, 
I want to help you out in any way that I can, but at the same time, I don't want to know your exact situation because it's not my per it's not my business. It's not my business to know your personal situation. However, here's what I would advise you to do. If you're an individual and you feel like you're living on SSI or you're living on SSDI or retirement benefits, maybe you have very limited income, maybe you have very limited resources as in, you know, things that are worth uh, money that you could possibly sell, stuff like that, you might want to call your local office and just have a quick conversation with somebody and figure out what's going on here I feel like I should be entitled to higher benefits it's totally worth that because here's the thing how many times have you experienced this throughout your life where you've seen something and you look at it and you feel like mm, that's not right I, I just don't feel like that's right right now you make a simple phone call and they look into it and they say you're right just kidding it should have been a lot higher sorry about our mistake how many times have you experienced that throughout your life I'm guessing quite a few times right and again, fill in the blank on that as well. You can, it basically applies for anything, right? You've seen it happen with so many different things, right? Uh, medical bills, bills on anything. I mean, premiums, um, programs. I mean, literally it goes on and on and on where, you know, maybe you get a bill for something or you, you're enrolled in something and you feel like mm, these numbers just don't feel right. And you call about it and sure enough, they say, huh, sorry, huh, our mistake. Let me get that fixed for you. You know what I mean? So again, I would totally recommend calling your local office, having a conversation with somebody there. They can look into your situation and maybe you, you need to submit some new information and maybe Maybe they can reconsider your benefits. Totally worth it. Here's the thing. If you're somebody right now who is an individual, maybe getting, for example, let's just say you're getting $174 a month for SNAP benefits, and maybe they need to re-examine your situation, which by the way, they do, do uh, they do conduct regular tests uh, for people that do receive SNAP benefits to determine your eligibility and all kinds of things like that. So maybe it's about time for them to re-examine your situation and say, oh, you know what? Actually, you are eligible for the full 281 per month or the full 516 per month as a household of two people might be worth it right so if you're getting significantly less than the maximum benefits you may want to call your local office have a conversation with somebody and say you know i'm an ssi beneficiary i get 841 a month how can i possibly only be getting 174 per month or 148 per month on my snap benefits i don't get it these numbers do not make sense to me i feel like i should be getting the maximum and again you never know they might look at it they might rerun the numbers they might look at it and reprocess some of your information and realize oh actually you do actually qualify for the maximum benefit so here's the thing if you could potentially boost your benefit from say again just example 148 or you know 150 174 again any number less than the maximum if you could take you know a couple hours one day or maybe a couple days and spend a couple hours maybe having a conversation with somebody over the phone and uh, resubmitting information or doing whatever it takes and all of a sudden if it boosts your benefit by say a hundred dollars a month 120 dollars a month or possibly even more or a little bit less it's probably going to be worth your time okay so again i know it's not fun doing this paperwork is never fun let's be real it's not fun doing this it's not fun making the phone call i completely understand i know i agree with you it's not fun doing it but look at the bigger picture for just a second if you can look at the situation and if you can raise your benefits by even 20 dollars a month extrapolate that over the course of the year over the course of the next 12 months if you could get a raise of say even 20 dollars a month or 240 dollars throughout the course of the entire year would that be worth maybe a, an hour or two of your time a couple hours of your time probably right you could extrapolate that and say hey you know if it's going to be three hours worth of time that's basically 80 dollars per hour is what i'm getting compensated not bad how many people get paid 80 dollars an hour these days right uh not many people right very few people get that kind of compensation so my point is even if you were to spend three hours on it and to even boost your benefit by say 20 dollars per month you'd be looking at like a compensation of about 80 dollars an hour or about 240 dollars throughout the course of the entire year so might totally be worth your time right anyway uh let me give you the quick phone number here now again i've talked about this phone number before it's basically a, just a general 1-800 number it'll call or you can call the number and it'll connect you with an automated system i've called the phone number many many times uh here on in some separate videos and um you basically just call the number. It's going to pop up with an automated system. It's going to say, hey, what state are you located in? And you can just say, hey, I'm in Texas. I'm in Arkansas. I'm in Florida. I'm in California. I'm in New York. It doesn't really matter. Just say the state that you're located in, and it'll connect you with your local office, provided you're calling during local hours, which... 
you know, just call during local hours. Basically, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday is kind of the general timeline that I'd give you. So I can give you that, fun, that phone number. Feel free to call it and have a conversation with somebody. It's There's nothing wrong with having a conversation with somebody. They have these benefits for a reason. These people that are working at these places, like the, you know, the, the, the offices or whatever, um, to connect and help with this, they're there to help you out, okay? Please don't feel ashamed by this. That's why they have these benefits. They have the benefits there for people to take advantage of, for people to grab these benefits if you're in a situation where you need some extra help every month. So please, call. That's why they have the benefits, okay? And remember, if you're calling and getting a raise to your benefits, please don't feel like you're taking benefits from somebody else. This is an unlimited supply of money. They have unlimited amounts of money. There's no such thing as running out of money. So if you take more benefit, don't feel like you're taking it from somebody else. That's not how it works with this system, okay? <laughs> you, you are entitled to whatever you're qualified for. If it's the maximum, by all means, grab every single penny of it, right? So let me give you the details on this. And this is the SNAP program, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, otherwise referred to as as snap benefits. All right, so I'll give you the phone number a couple times here. All right, here we go. We got your pen and pa uh, paper ready. Here we go. 1-800-221-5689. Again, 1-800-221-5689. And one more time, 1-800-221-5689. Two two one five six eight nine. Yes, I have that number memorized because I've called it and I've talked about it many, many times here in previous videos. And realistically, it's just a good number to have memorized because I know a lot of you here in the community receive SNAP benefits. And here's the thing. Right now, there's about 43 million SNAP beneficiaries in the United States. So again, a huge percentage of our population uh, is relying on SNAP benefits. So by all means, if you're somebody in that situation, and if you feel that you are not getting the maximum benefit right now, and if you feel like you should be getting it, make a phone call. They can call, uh, look into your situation, or maybe you have a direct contact with your local office. If that's the case, then call that person and have them look into it. Okay, I'm not guaranteeing that this is gonna help. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I don't know your situation, but all I'm saying is, it's worth a phone call. I can't tell you how many times I've made phone calls on different things that I've received, you know, programs, benefits, um, you know, bills that I've received, different things that I've called on. Here's another qu uh, quick pro tip. I can't tell you how much money I've saved over the years by calling and asking for a discount. Seriously, I cannot even tell you how much money I've saved over the years, literally calling and saying, hey, can I get a discount? <laughs> Seriously, that's all it is. <laughs> Seriously, that's all I really say. Uh, I'm looking to buy this. I just made placed this order. I'm about to place this order. Do you think you could give me a discount? I'm looking for 10%. I'm looking for 20%. Give me your best price. What kind of offer do you have for me right now? Can you price match? All kinds of things like this. I can't tell you. It's tons of money that I've saved over the years. Simply asking for a discount and they say, oh yeah, no problem. 20%, how's that for you? Or, you know, I've been looking at something and, you know, maybe it's priced at $150 and I'll say, hey, you know, it's 150, you know, can you take 120? And they'll say, ah, sure, no problem, whatever. Yeah, we can do that. Seriously, it all adds up. It might be 20 here, it might be 30 there, it might be 100 there, but it all adds up. And guess what? It adds up to a lot of money over time. You never know unless you ask, right? In fact, I was just on the phone with somebody the other day and I said, hey, I'm a returning uh, customer. Can I get a discount? And she said, well, unfortunately, we don't offer discounts, but it's always nice to ask, right? And I said, you know what? You don't get unless you ask, right? And she said, that's totally right. You don't get something unless you ask. So I ask every single time. I'm gonna be honest with you. Sometimes I feel a little bit embarrassed about it, but honestly, I don't really care. I want a discount. Give me a discount. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially if I'm a returning customer for whatever it is, I don't even care what it is. If I'm a returning customer, I almost expect a discount, right? It doesn't happen every time, but that's just kind of my mentality going into it. I say, I'm coming back. I'm gonna give you some more of my hard-earned money. Um, can I get a discount? Again, whatever you can do, just make give me your best offer. That's all I'm looking for here. The same thing goes with SNAP benefits. If you're in this situation, make a call. It might be worth your time. You, know, you never know. Just because they've determined your benefit you know, six months ago as whatever it is, and maybe it didn't get adjusted higher, maybe your situation has changed. Maybe your income has changed. Maybe your situation has changed. Maybe your expenses have changed. Maybe your assets have changed. Maybe your resources have changed. As a result of that, you might be eligible for more benefits. Please. Make a call. You could be getting a lot more benefits. I hope this video helps you out and I hope this benefit, or sorry, 
I hope this video yields more benefits for you. Again, a simple phone call could be worth quite a bit of money for you. You never know unless you ask. Anyway, uh, start implementing that mentality just like I have. And again, you'll be surprised how much of a discount and how much extra things you can get just by asking. All you got to do is ask. Sometimes it's not going to work. That's okay. But you never know unless you ask. Anyway, that's the mentality that I live by. And it's been serving pretty well over the last several years. Anyway, hope this one helps you out. Please make that phone call. Again, 1-800-221-5689. That's the automated system. Otherwise, call your local office if you have a contact there, and hopefully they can get you fixed up for the maximum benefit. 281 as an individual, 516 as a household of two, 740 as a household of three, or 930, uh, sorry, 939 as a household of four people. Anyway, wishing you the best of luck. Hope this helped you out. Again, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share this video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, have a good one. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you again later.